Hey everybody, welcome back. This will probably be the last video of this weekly. I've never so closely thought about just abandoning a sap game. <laughs> what a motherly masseuse. <coughs> We're, we know what's the dominant setup this weekly, okay? If you, early in the game, meat goes crazy. In the post-meat era, I just, I'm sorry, I just don't like it. In the post-meat era, I mean, you have to be a fool to not run wolf, turkey, German shepherd. And I'm not mad because I'm a little mad, but I'm not that mad because this is like the first weekly, I think, where German shepherd's been crazy, at least the first one in a while. And I've had a great time with the weekly in advance of the calcification of the meta. Sounds like a Red Hot Chili Pepper song. Perfect timing on the meat. Go ahead and toss me a pug. We basically got double meats. We probably should get a stilt next turn. Sell a fish, get a stilt. D sell a duck into a unit that has some merit. We lose this one. Not unexpected. I gotta stop putting my seagull at the back, too. I think we're getting a lot of losses we don't need to get. Because our seagull should be, like, probably there. Say, sell me. Buy me. Roll. I would just give a unit this. Pug already has it. Roll once. Any unit I respect here? Not really. Freeze the meat. Freeze a pug. I feel like we definitely could have gotten another meat out there and had it be worthwhile. Instead, I kind of, I froze in my tracks a little bit. Even a second pug with a meat on it instead of a fish would have been, like, worthwhile. I deserve this. I, you know, it's rare that my actions and then the consequences are so closely together that my, my old brain can piece together why I had a, something happen. I appreciate that that's what they did for me here. For the time being, just give me another pug. I know it seems crazy. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell you just to get another pug out there. <laughs> and then nobody needs meat. Okay, well then I know what we must do. We'll buy you. We can always just buy you meat next turn. I'd rather get the extra gold. Even though we only have one win, I, I think that this looks good. Even though it's a little strange. <laughs> or more than a little strange. You're spitting out a 4-4, which sucks pretty bad. But the rest of our squad is pretty sick with it. We got meat on everybody. We're strong enough. Okay, now I, I feel great. We're going to combine pugs at some point. Honestly, we could do it right now. But then we got to buy meat anyway. We might as well just pop this and this. Keep an avocado frozen. It's huge. Right now, this goes crazy. Next turn, these go crazy. Forget about the avocado. Now we gotta figure out. Because the, the next, the, the natural pivot for this kind of squad is turkey, wolf. And I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. Because no Skylar, I am the danger. It's been done enough to me, and I've done it to others that it just makes sense. We're not going hyena. In that case, we should probably freeze me, but we'll, you need this. Unfreeze me then. We don't need more pugs. We don't need more pugs. It's, I appreciate that, that I'd rather have too many than not enough, but a level two seagull would be still nice. Even just if we're using the seagull as like a last, a last hurrah at some point. To, to give its equipment to some units before we sell it. I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling I'm feeling better than okay. Elephant Armadillo is like... I have never been scared when I've seen it this week. The thing is, Moose is really good. <laughs> but it's not Turkey Wolf. So I'm making my stand... Then I'm standing by it. I'm, by, I'm giving you a cupcake for now. Next round, turkeys and wolves can show up naturally. 
and German Shepherds if we level our pug, which I will probably choose to do. You got a nasty little squad there. Or do you? Or do you? Or do you? I felt that one. Turkey, wolf. No turkey, no wolf. Roll me. Level me. I don't know why I thought that was guaranteed to give us a tier 6. You gotta buy something first. Whatever. We'll buy a cow because we always buy a cow. I'm not even worried about the wolf at this point. Level the pug or stat the pug because it's got the... It's got the setup for it. Buy waffle for you. I know it looks like we're going waffle build. No, the waffle is just the holding pattern for now. What we're hoping to do is buy a turkey. Okay. But then we need the spawners to enable the turkey. But this is this is still good. For now, this is pretty bad. <laughs> or it, maybe it's not pretty bad. Everybody on the squad has meat, and we have a 1419 pug as a tank. It might not get the job done, but that doesn't mean it's like it's beyond saving. By the way, it's gonna get the job done. And to get the job done on a round where you pivot at least a little bit feels nice. We can absolutely run two turkeys. Let me think about it. The seagull is an overrated part of this squad unless we get a steak. No, you sell the stilts. Even though it looks bad right now, it gives the turkey a buff. Now, the turkeys aren't buffing anything. That will change. Have confidence that that will change. Level your turkey. A taper is an element of this squad that we can keep for a minute. We don't need the seagull to level up. We didn't get our... You take a potato. We didn't get a, um, a wolf yet, but we've got almost all the elements to make it work. Freaking lowered my attack. I can't believe there was a, a, an effective goose this late in the game. I can't believe they're trying to make me regret my words about elephant armadillo, and I can't believe I thought I was gonna regret them for a second. No, wolf. German Shepherd, very important. I think we've come to the point where you don't need to be here. I appreciate what you've done for us. You don't need to be here anymore. A, a German Shepherd comes out instead of a Seagull. No, oh, we should have. Yeah, we should have at least given it meat, even if it's not that high tier of equipment. But this allows us to get better stats on the units that we're summoning. The pug can buff the taper, and that's fine. I'll level the taper instead, see what you get. Mammoth, not 100% sold in a pill this world. Um, I would buy a deer. I think it's going to have reasonably good stats to begin with. 11-7, and it, obviously our bust will be better as well. But I think we would sell it and put another taper out there instead. And if anything, now that I think about it, we'd much rather put taper in position 1. So that it could spit out a level 3 bus for us. Probably, maybe? Spat out a level 3 turkey, which is great for stats, but... Okay, still no wolf and we still don't care. You need this. You can... You take this. Another turkey. I feel like a, just a green pepper on a German Shepherd so it doesn't die from a snipe is pretty valuable. I think we got a really good setup for turn 12. We could be moving the pug backwards, admittedly, to get a German Shepherd that's a higher level. It might actually be the right play. At first I was like, we can't do it because of order, but I think that there's actually nothing stopping us. On the other hand, we're also, like, winning. So it's hard to pivot to something else because <laughs> you're doing great please please who needs a wolf we could just call it who needs a wolf tapers go crazy this week etc etc pug at the front now it's that's a whole new world brother wolf with no turkey wolf with no turkey ever see yankee with no brim anyway we win 
What's up? I don't know. I just thought it'd be funny to say it. There you go. There's a 10 piece. And you thought I was washed. You thought I should keep the seagull forever, huh? Two ducks. Cone snail. Fish next round. Remember tropical herb. Like Thai basil. That's got to be a tropical herb, right? All and No other streamer will admit to being as stupid as I am. That's my competitive advantage. I don't really know what the tropics are. I know there's the Tropic of Capricorn. I know there's the Tropic of Cancer. They're um, roughly around the equator. It's hot there. I certainly know that. But could I tell you what, what the tropics are? Could I tell you where they are? I'm going to assume that one of them... What, isn't one of them... <laughs> I'm thinking of the Cape of Good Hope. It's like, isn't one of them in southern South Africa? Are they, like, a, a tropic is like a... You know what? Why don't we just look it up? Maybe we could all learn something today. We could all pretend we knew this in advance. What is a tropic? The parallel of 23 degrees, 26 north of the equator or south of the equator. What does tropic mean? Either of the two parallels of the Earth's latitude that are approximately 23 and a half degrees north or 23 and a half degrees south of the equator. Okay. I'm no longer like embarrassed that I didn't know the exact definition because that seems crazy. But obviously there's a reason for it. You need some meat? I honestly think I would just toss a second one out here for now. The stilt is like a, it's a good role player. You know, it's, it's someone you get at free agency. They don't need to be on your squad for the dynasty. They can just be on your squad for like the playoff run. And then you let them go back into free agency. You pay a heavy cost to buy them, but they, they serve as a role player. You don't have to build your whole squad around them forever. You take this. Useless. Not useless. We understand these now. You take that. I would sell for meat in a heartbeat, but we, we can't get there. Sure, a level. Sure, meat. I mean, you know how it is. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Um, we're... The more meats you have in the early game, the better your chances of winning in the early game are going to be. The, be the more games you win early game, the less games you have to win against psychotic um, Excel spreadsheet gamers round 10 and onwards. So we take those opportunities as they lie. For where we're at right now, I would absolutely add an antelope. I would add meat to a pug because the pug is likely to stick around. I don't think you need to level up any further. I think we're post-seagull. We're living in a post-seagull world. And I think meat on an antelope, you could do worse, is what I'm trying to say. And then we're getting ready to pivot to... Oh, no. They, they outthought me. They beat me in my own game. Strong. Strong team here. It's not that strong, though. It's not that strong. We're getting ready to pivot to turkey, German shepherd, wolf. And it, honestly, it's crazy to say, but you can hold the wolf. You can't, it can't hurt. It can't hurt. I like what I see. What can I say? That's bad. I no longer like what I see as much. Responding a two piece. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm going to say I don't hate what I see. I thought I would hate what I see. Actually, it looks like we're doing totally fine. Yes. A wolf. <laughs> you shouldn't have. Sell me. Buy me. Wolf me, for sure. For sure. Take some meat for now. Probably going to replace it with a green pepper later. We honest, you know, I was going to say we honestly don't need the antelope, but it's still only round seven. Don't get ahead of yourself. I normally don't have five wins at this point. I normally have like two. No wonder in my sense of time is a little distorted right now. Sounds like a Marvel Cinematic Universe soundtrack. 
feeling great, honestly. And what are we looking for? Turkey? Wolf is a, is a tier 5, yeah. So turkey is not going to show up yet. That's fine. I would accept avocados. I was just literally just about to say. I would rather freeze you and wait for like a tier 6. And you know what's insane? I'm going to buy a potato and replace your meat. I'd rather, because we get tier 5s naturally next turn. Imagine if we level up the antelope and it gives us a German Shepherd. The shop has the potential to do the funniest thing of all time. I'm not stressed yet. I'm still unstressed. I'm so very slightly stressed because we very nearly, in two different ways. Our dog almost cleared you, and then our antelope almost cleared you, but so be it. Look at this. We have to pivot. <laughs> it's going to be like a sell me, probably sell me. You're going to get a turkey first. You're probably going to sell weasel in the orca, and then run... Like At this point, the antelope no longer needs to exist. And let me tell you why, okay? Do I have time? Yes, I've got 15 minutes at a minimum. At a maximum. Turkey needs to be at the back, or it can be in front of German Shepherd, possibly. Wolf needs to have three spaces. So it needs to be in position three or further back. Pug can't be at the front. Orca is the best thing to receive a benefit from the pug right now. I think you could maybe make an argument for Turkey once we get... Oh, we do have a lot of spawners. Never mind. Either way, though, the wolf still can't be up one, so the antelope doesn't have to be here. It's not going to provide us with much of a benefit anymore, which I think means it can get roasted. And then we're going to buff the turkey for now so it can survive a, sp a spawn or a snipe. We're going to freeze a deer just in case we get waffles first. A pug is like, it's okay, but it's not a must-have. No waffles. No waffles, but a second cow. It's tough, man. Honestly, I think I would... If we're going to go spawn, embrace the spawn. Throw this down here. Turkey, green pepper on the turkey next. So German Shepherd is the next, like, force multiplier for this run if we can get it. You got your own bus. I got my own bus. You got your own bus. I got my own warthog, so I'm not stressed. For all the theory crafting, everything went really smooth there. I don't think the placement mattered too much. But it's, you know, it's worth thinking about. It's, it's That's how you stress your, uh, stretch your, your brain muscle in this game. Level 2 turkey incoming. Deer, I'm not even worried about it leveling up, honestly. Green pepper on a on a German Shepherd if we get one. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was in trouble, but I'm okay. A little tick. Okay. Am I stressed? I'm drawing. That's I would say that's unstressed. So now the pug doesn't need to exist. But, we could still get something pretty good out of it. Just by having this. Okay, that's good. Steaks can go crazy here. I do still want a German Shepherd. But I think we got a reasonable compromise for not having one right now. Pug, the, the damage is done on the Pug anyway. This is a strong looking squad, man. It is a, it, it's not, not a strong looking, never mind, you're weak. <laughs> Go ahead. We'll sell you for a German Shepherd if you, sh if it shows up. So who's getting the steak? Nobody. I'm not putting that on a pug at the back. I would actually just run, no, because you're a faint trigger that summons a good unit, you summon a faint trigger. You know what? I would. Can I get a German Shepherd, please? A taper! Also kind of sick with it. No German Shepherd, though. You see what a week of dealing with the uh, Turkey Shepherd Wolf does to a dude? First off, 
You turn me into the danger, Skyler, as we've already touched upon. But then also... Uh, oh, wait. We, we own this? We own this. Okay. Um, now I'm, tra I'm talking trash. I've never been much of a trash talker. No. Not interested. A German Shepherd? But, like, if I may be so bold, I feel like the best thing you could do on this one is just kind of send it. I don't know where the German... Sh I guess the German Shepherd fits in instead of a pug now. But the pug has, has had not insignificant value for us. Huge. Insane death touch. We must do way with insane death touch that want to destroy their meta build. We want... Okay, it turns out turkey uh, never goes out of style. Thanks for watching. We Am I a bit of a scumbag, maybe, for the, the way that we chose to go out? Well, here's the thing. If I went out on six wins, people would be saying I'm washed, despite me deliberately not running the meta build. Now I run the meta build, and people are like, oh, he's just running the meta build. Yeah, well, meta this. Then the YouTube uh, end slate comes up with, like, subscribe and next video. and da -da 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 -da. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'll set a great deal. I'll see you next time. See ya!